Hi everyone, welcome back to the Polk County Public Libraries. My name is Amelia and today I'm going to show you how to do this week's adult take and make craft. And this week you have all the materials from our take and make kits that you can pick up at the Columbus or Saluda Libraries to make this folded book art. So that's what we're going to be tackling today. It is a pretty um, time consuming craft so this will be perfect um, if you're planning on staying at home for the next little while. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to make a fun announcement that the library has purchased these wonderful um, umbrellas that are on the tables on our deck outside. So if you visit the Columbus Library, you can now enjoy seating outside in the sunshine but still be protected from the sun um, and practice social distancing that way. So um, it's a great place to visit and we hope to see you soon. All right, so for this activity, you will need a book, a ruler that measures centimeters, a highlighter, and a pencil. And if you've picked up one of the Take and Make kits, you should have a book in there that has at least 600 pages because this activity requires the book to have 597 pages. And you can see this fun um, list of folds that we're going to measure and fold each page in this book to eventually get a piece of art that looks like this. So we'll just see. Well, 590 or yeah, 579 pages. So even if you have a book that's 600 pages, this will be perfect. You can just split the difference and start on the page that um, to keep a good. Um, balance beginning and end. So um, I'm going to pick my first page to start off with. This is the, the title page of the book and it won't matter because that's um, our first fold and according to our measuring chart um, our first measurement is going to be 6.9 centimeters. So I'm going to line up my centimeter ruler and I'm gonna make a mark at 6.9 and you want to be as accurate as you can with your measurements because then you won't have to go back later and refold um, to make the tops of your pages all the same um, measurement and it'll spell the word perfectly. If you do get a little off, it's not the end of the world because you're just folding paper so you'll just make a different fold afterwards to kind of correct that. So my first measurement was 6.9 centimeters. My second measurement, I'm going to leave my ruler right where it is and it's 14.3 so i'm going to make that mark now you have two options after you make your mark you can go ahead and start marking the other pages and and mark the entire book if you want before folding or you can fold as you go so the tick marks that you just made you're going to make sure that the corner point of your fold lines up with those tick marks so your first measurement will look something like this, okay? Like I said, this is, this is pretty foolproof because if you accidentally mistake, uh, make a mistake on the fold, you can go back and fold it again because it's just paper. And you'll keep going through your list. Now I like to make sure that after each fold, I like to highlight all the way across just saying that I've completed that measurement and it gives me a good stopping place if I need to go and do something else, cook dinner, um, and then come back to it later. This is an excellent project to work on while you're listening to music or maybe an audiobook. Um, and you just go through and make your mark. So the second one is the same. This is the start of the letter R. Now, I'm gonna make these same folds again. And I'm just creasing them just with my fingers and then I'm good and then I'll mark that one off as well now towards the end of the first letter you have the instruction that says half fold and that sounds like you should take the whole page and fold it right in half however that's not the case you're going to fold your paper up from the bottom Okay. Then you're going to fold it the same way from the top to make a nice triangle 
and that is what a half fold is. Just folding all the way from the top and all the way from the bottom. You have one of these between the letter R and E. You have several, several of them between the next sets of letters. So just be mindful of that as you're going through and don't panic if you see the word half fold because it's not really that intense. You're just folding the top half of the paper and then the bottom half of the paper. Um, you keep measuring all the way to the end of the book so you're getting to measure all these pages and eventually when you get to the end, your last measurement will finish up the letter D. And if you want, this example that I've done, I've taken a black Sharpie and I've just colored on the ends of the pages to make the word read stand out a little bit more. You can do this with any color Sharpie, um, or you can choose to leave it um, just as the organic page color. Either way, you're gonna end up with a beautiful piece of art and um, just show off your love of reading. So I hope you enjoy, and we hope to see you at the library soon.